I'm in somewhere in the middle of the trail. Uh, looks like we have uh, three trails. Trail one, trail two, and trail three. And I have no idea where to go. This video is about how to navigate trails that you have never ridden before. But according to the mapping of the navigation, I need to go this way. So if I pointing my bike handlebar to the first trail, the arrow pointing this way. So the trail one isn't not the trail that I'm going to ride. And then if I turn my handlebar toward the second trail, this one, and the arrow is pointing is similar to the blue one, but it's not exactly matches to the trail. So this is not the trail that I'm going to ride. And then if I turn my handlebar to the third trail, the arrow of the navigation app pointing exactly the same direction as the blue route. I'm using Komoot for navigation app. I've been using several different navigation apps, but I found Komoot is the best navigation app. Because not like other apps, Komoot is the only app shows arrows as well as numbers. A means starting point and then B means ending point. Start from point A, then keep riding toward number one. And at this point, you have a trail on your left and on your right. But if you see where the number two is, you should go to the right and keep following the trail by numbers two, three, four, and five. And at this point, you also have a trail on your left and then on your right. But if you keep trying to follow the numbers by six, you should go to the right. Let's zoom into this section. So from here, you just keep following the blue route toward number two, and then go to number three. And then go to number four and then five. Let's compare with other apps. On the right, this is a Strava. On the left, this is a Trail Fox. Trailfox has indications with arrows, so mapping is better than Strava. But if you compare the Trailfox to Komoot, Komoot is much easier for mapping on the trail because of all of these numbers. To make a route on Komoot, you will need a GPX file. I'll try to download one of my Strava activities. So I'm going to download the GPX file of this one. So I click the map and go to the next page and then you will have the GPX download button in the right hand corner of the map. So if you click the button, you will download the GPX file. Let's double check whether I downloaded the GPX file correctly or not. As you can see, there is a GPX file of Brad Carterson. And now we move on to Komoot website.
and sign in. And if you sign in, there is a route planner. So click the route planner. And if you see the right hand corner, there is a plus sign next to the bell sign. If you click that one, you have a button to import a GPX file. So click that one and then click Omnode file. And then you import Fred Carterson GPX file. Then select import to plan a route and click the next button. And change the sport type to mountain bike. And click next button and then select stick to original route and save tour and you can edit tour name and it's done commute can be connected to Garmin so all activities are loaded to Garmin will automatically appear on your commute under completed tours. If you finished all the works on the computer, the phone app will be synced automatically. If this video is useful and helpful, please subscribe my channel to watch more how-to series. Thank you for watching.